everybody, welcome to my channel Behind the Vanity. I'm Jessica. So today's video is gonna be a get ready with me slash get to know me video. When I first started my channel a few months ago, I did a very short introduction that really doesn't tell you a whole lot about me. So I'm gonna just kind of get ready and put on some makeup and tell you more about myself. So let's get started. So the first thing I'm gonna start with today is my eyebrows and I will be using this Bella Pierre is Bella Pierre Cosmetics Stay Put Brow Gel and it is in the color cardamom which is kind of like a light brown and I got it in a beauty subscription some time ago and I've used it a couple times it actually comes with a brush in the top and I've used it once before and I didn't clean it off and it's kind of dried a little bit and it's not very good anyway. It's, it's good in a pinch, I'm sure, but I'm just gonna go ahead and use my own brush for my eyebrows and I'll just be using a little Wet n Wild kind of eyeliner brush. And it's basically a cream. So I'm gonna just use that and put on my eyebrows. So basically I was raised, born and raised just outside of Boston not in the suburbs, but literally just like five minutes outside of Boston. I now live in Tennessee, and I know you're wondering, do I miss Boston? No, I don't. <laughs> I miss certain things about Boston. I miss, you know, I miss being able to take public transportation. I miss the food, although we have really good food here. Our pizza is good. I've lived in Tennessee now for about 15 years and I've never really looked back, honestly. I do have a brother, a younger brother, who lives here as well. And he has a son, so I have a nephew who is just a little over two years old. Ooh, I'm messing up my eyebrow. <laughs> I'm having to get used to my mirror being like directly in front of me. When you do things crooked for so long, it's hard to adjust to normal. I don't know how much I like this stuff. I think it's a little, Looks a little light for my root situation. <laughs> I'm gonna try to brush it out a little bit. I kind of like it actually. I mean, it kind of it kind of colors your eyebrows, but it's still letting them kind of look like hair. If that makes sense. I do not know how even these are. This is kind of a new product for me, so I'm kind of learning it with you <laughs> as I do most of this stuff. <laughs> so basically I started this channel because where I'm at now in my life, I, I'm kind of between age groups as I call it. I'm not 20, but I'm not 50 or older. So I'm kind of stuck somewhere right in the middle. And, and I actually started this channel because I have a lot of women friends who are, it's almost like they're either younger than me or they're older than me and there's no in between. So, but I find that sometimes I can relate to the women that are older than me. I guess I'm kind of an old soul, I always have been. And I find they've always told me that they can really actually kind of relate to me as well. In a lot of ways, I feel like my channel might actually speak to women that are older than me. So if you are older than 35, <laughs> I really, have kind of geared this channel towards you all and I'm still working on finding my exact voice in this whole thing so you'll have to bear with me as it is still new and in its infancy and whatnot but we all do have something we all all of us people that are doing YouTube videos we're all kind of saying the same thing we're just saying it differently and then hopefully the people that want to hear it the way we say it find us so someone that wants to hear something in the way that I will say it will find me and if they want it said in a different way they'll find someone else and so and I, I kind of say that I, I kind of relate to an older crowd because even though I'm, I'm a little bit I know social media a bit and I know YouTube a little bit and I realize like like in the world of Instagram I'm so new and there's so many things that the the kids are doing these days that I just can't I haven't really quite caught up with yet so I really truly am stuck right in the middle <laughs> so I hope there I hope there are people out there that can relate to me and find me very relatable that's really my goal I'm not an expert in makeup or anything I just have a knowledge of a little bit of everything and I want to be able to say it to people that might need to hear me say it versus somebody else. And that's basically my main goal. And it's fun and I really enjoy it. It's I think it's important to have hobbies. I think it's important to have things that you do outside of work. My job, because I am a performer, job used to be my hobby and now 
it's my job. And so when that happens, you really kind of find need to find like other hobbies, like things you don't really get paid to do that you just like to do. And it took me years, it took me years to, to find something other than kind of performing that I considered my hobby. So here I am. <laughs> So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna prime my eye. I don't do this all the time. I'm just wanting to do it today because I'm really wanting to get like a clean look for my eyeshadow. And I have this Infallible Full Wear. It's by L'Oreal. It's a full coverage concealer, basically. And then I just take a concealer brush. This one's by Bare Minerals. I've had it forever. And I even have a Wet n Wild one that was, I think like something I got at the Dollar Tree. So you can get a concealer brush anywhere. So there it is on the concealer brush. Hopefully you can see it. foods I love to eat are basically pasta and anything that stinks <laughs> and by that I mean I love any kind of cheese I love capers I love olives I love I'm on a big pimento cheese kick at the moment and so yeah I have a very Italian Mediterranean palate as I am Italian American I'm third generation Italian American, so no, I speak zero Italian. My parents speak zero Italian. So I guess you could really say I'm American. <laughs> it was believed that my dad's great, great grandfather was an Egyptian man. So, which wouldn't be out of the question because we do come, uh, we are, most of my Italian heritage comes from Sicily. So, wouldn't be out of the question is they're really not far away. So I have every reason to believe I am Sicilian and Egyptian. And who knows what else? I have not done one of those DNA things yet. I want to, but I haven't yet. And I'm gonna get started with eyeshadow. And I did a video several, couple months ago where I bought the Urban Decay Naked Reloaded palette. And so here it is. And I'm gonna, that's what I'm gonna be using for my makeup look today. I'm gonna take this brush. It's a Luxie 140 Detailed Tapered Blender. And I got this in a beauty subscription. I'm gonna go into Blur, which is this one right here on the end. So now taking that same brush, I am going to go into Boundaries, which is kind of like a mustardy, kind of terracotta. And I'm gonna kind of put that a little bit more in the crease. Now I'm gonna take another brush, it's just a clean brush. I'm just gonna take this little Glamour Dolls brush and I'm just gonna use this to blend all my colors. I have two cats, and as you know, you'll see them walking from time to time through the background of my video. <laughs> I've got Sophia and Tater. Sophia is 10, she's a brindle tortoiseshell cat. And then I have a four-year-old orange cat named Tater, and they are sweet. And so I love cats. I would have more if my husband would let me, but he said two is our limit, so no more cats. But if I got a dog, I would love a pug. Oh my God, I can't stand how cute they are. Ooh, they're so cute. Yeah, but I don't know if I'm ready for a dog. I know there are a lot more responsibility, but yeah, I'm a big cat person. I'll always have cats. Next color I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this brush. It's Scone, I guess that's the brand, Scone. And it's a large shadow brush and it's kind of a dense eyeshadow brush. I am going to take this into Endgame which is this dark, rich chocolate brown here in the middle. I'm gonna kind of pack it on to the, on the bottom and kind of bring it outward a little bit. So some traits that I have that, you know, just very quintessential me is I'm pretty organized. I'm always on time. I can be a little bit of a control freak sometimes, but man, when I'm not a control freak, I just completely let everything go. Like, I, I've learned you can't control people. Not that you want to, but, <laughs> but I do like to have a good control over like organization and stuff like that. And I'm also, I'm married and my husband works in show business as well. 
he has a couple grown kids, but I, and I do not, and I've actually never wanted to have kids. Just kind of a weird thing. I've, as the older I get, the more I meet people that are like me that don't want children. But when I was young, I used to think even I was weird for that. But you know, the, the older I get, especially being in show business, I've met a lot of people like myself, which is nice. Comment if you're one of those people that doesn't really want children because I always like meeting people like that. Now granted, I have a lot of friends that have kids and there's no, nothing but love for them, but it's just been how I've always felt since I was like a child, so. I used to think I was weird, but now I know that I'm not that weird, so. I'm gonna take that same brush, that first brush that I used, the tapered one, and I am going to go into this kind of peach color called Retro, and I'm gonna kind of just blend that into the middle, just to, and kind of down a little bit too, just to kind of add a little bit of a, an extra layer of color. So now I'm gonna go back in again with that dark color Endgame, that dark brown, and I'm just gonna pack it on just a little bit more down here on the bottom. I'm gonna take this e.l.f. Professional eyeshadow brush, and I'm gonna add a little bit of shimmer. So I'm gonna go into this Dreamweaver. It's a very shimmery kind of a brown. I'm gonna wet my brush for this, because this is kind of a glittery shadow in this pan, and I think a wet brush just wet it on a baby wipe. You've seen me do this before. And really pack, try to pack that on there and try to get a good concentrated color. Another fact about me is that I can sew. I'm probably not as good as a professional seamstress, but my grandmother taught me some stuff when I was little and then I kind of just continued to teach myself. So I can use a sewing machine. I actually just did a Selena Quintanilla Perez makeup tutorial kind of for Halloween because I've gone as Selena Quintanilla for two years in a row and I will link that video below as well and and so I made handmade a costume that she wore that purple jumpsuit that really awesome purple jumpsuit that she wore with the bell bottoms so here's a picture of that costume that I made from scratch and I also, I've kind of dabbled in doing impersonations because I'm a magician's assistant now, but I'm also a singer. I used to impersonate Shania Twain and really I look nothing like her and I really don't sound anything like her. But I, I've made a couple of her outfits as well several years ago. Here's a picture of that famous leopard jacket with the pants from the That Don't Impress Me Much video. Oh yeah, yeah, I made that. And then, and then here's just another outfit from a concert she did and I think Miami that aired on TV. And so yeah, I made those just fun projects. You know, it's, it's a lot of work, it's a labor of love, but I don't always have the patience to do things like that. But when I set my mind to it, I can do it. <laughs> now if you get up close to it, you know, or put it on, everything's just a little bit crooked. <laughs> but, but you know, it's it's cool, it's it's fun. And I also kind of do some of the seamstress stuff for our show, for the magic show that I'm in. I just, I kind of help just make small repairs and kind of modify costumes to be able to fit and work and maybe come on and off quickly for quick changes and stuff. So I can just kind of, you know, I can do a little bit of everything in that department, but none of it completely well. So <laughs> I'm a typical jack of all trades, master of none. So I take this angel fire, this color right here. It's very, very shimmery. So this is a wet and wild brush. I don't know what kind it is. I guess it's an eyeshadow brush, but it's it's just like a little compact bristle. But I'm just gonna kind of pack that on and I'm gonna go, go under my brow bone for a highlight. Then I'm just gonna go, go in and just kind of comb out my brows a little bit. We don't, we don't want dusty eyebrows. I'm also gonna take that same color and I'm gonna go in the corner of my eyes for a highlight. So now I'm gonna take some eyeliner and this is gonna be my CoverGirl Ink It eyeliner. Really awesome eyeliner. It's kind of like my current fave. A secret desire of mine has always been since I was, gosh, in high school, 
and I've never done it, I've only dabbled in it, is to body build. And like I said, I used to dabble in it. I used to, I used to love lifting weights. I haven't lifted weights in years. But someday, I would maybe like to enter like a bodybuilding contest. But, you know, I would have to watch what I eat. And I do, kinda, but I like pasta, as you know, so you know, it's hard. But someday, someday. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put on foundation. I'm not yet done with my eyes, but I'm gonna do some stuff in a little while. And I bought this foundation at CBS. It's the Maybelline Fit Me Dewy and Smooth Fit Me Foundation with sunscreen, and it's normal to dry. And the color is medium buff. I don't like that it's kind of the old school bottle where you just kind of pour it out. That's not my favorite. So I'm gonna use my silicone sponge today. I really guessed when I bought this how it would fit my skin and how it would transition from summer to winter. And I'm not completely sure yet, honestly. <laughs> I have flat feet, <laughs> which is, you know, no fun sometimes. Um, I mentioned that I'm kind of an untrained dancer, and by that I mean I wish I was one of those kids that my parents put into dance classes when I was really little, but I wasn't. So when I decided to get into theater, I had to really try to catch up in the whole dance department. But it has not stopped me. At like 22 years old, I just kind of figured it out. And granted, I'm not a Broadway dancer. I don't dance on Broadway, but I have been able to learn choreography enough to be to work in shows that require that of me kind of on a you know a basic level I have worked as a singer dancer even though there are just about everybody is a better dancer than I am I also too I like to dance in shows like if I'm singing and dancing I like to do that like professionally like in a show but like at a dance or a wedding you can't get me out on the dance floor it's just I don't know I just don't I don't like to <laughs> you know I just I just kind of rather sit with like a drink or something but I will get up and dance on stage when my job requires it <laughs> but yeah do not ask me up on the dance floor at a wedding or a party or anything like that. And no, I can't even drink enough to make myself want to. <laughs> My friends have tried. <laughs> They've all tried. I am going to put on concealer. This is actually Rimmel. Rimmel London, lasting finish 25 hour, breathable, lightweight medium coverage concealer in light. And I have used this before. I've been using this for work. I don't much care for the applicator at all. Squeezing it onto my finger like that and then just kind of placing it. And a little of this does go a long way. I made the mistake the first time I used it by putting too much on. And that was a mistake. So when I started singing, I was, uh, gosh, I was probably 10 or seven. First song I ever learned was the theme of The Little Mermaid. And then I was all about Mariah Carey, and I sang nothing but Mariah Carey. And then I discovered country music at like 13 or 12, and then I was all about Leanne Rhymes. <laughs> and then I kind of, you know, kind of went into other singers. And so for all my teen years, I wanted to be a country singer, and that was not an easy thing, being from Boston at the time. It was kind of an odd thing to want to be. And, but I did it, and of course I wanted to move to Nashville. So when it came time for me to move to Tennessee, I didn't move to Nashville. <laughs> I don't regret it at all. It was a very conscious decision to not go that route and to become a working performer. Not rich, not famous, but a working performer, and I've been doing that for 15 years now. No regrets. So now I'm gonna bake my face. It'll give me time to tell you an interesting story. So let's get started with baking our face. So when I was, I guess, 16, I answered an ad. So do any of you girls remember YM Magazine? I guess if you're about my age, you probably read it in like high school. For being in a girl group, and, and several months later, like nine months later, I got a response, and I was chosen out of 
thousands of girls to be one of 16 to come audition for the president of RCA Records to audition for this girl group. And, but low, you know, kind of unbeknownst to us, what started out as just a fun contest that the magazine put on, it actually ended up turning into a serious thing because YM, their YM magazine, their office was actually in the BMG, the Bertelman's Music Group building in Times Square. And BMG owns Arista and they own Bad Boy Entertainment and they owned um, Arista RCA, Bad Boy and a bunch of other things. They were like the big parent company and they had tried, this is back in the girl group days, you know, they had tried casting for a girl group and they were kind of unsuccessful in the, the talent that they got. They weren't happy with the talent they got, so they kind of scrapped it. So then, you know, fast forward and they see YM gets all the, had got all these submissions for like a, it was supposed to be just be like a fun photo shoot and like a song or something. Well, BMG was really impressed and, and just, re they realized that like YM had access to like all these girls in that age group. So they kind of collaborated with them on it and it went, went from a fun contest actually ended up becoming like a real project. So there I was, my first ever audition was for the president of RCA Records. I was 16, I wasn't nervous. I didn't, I didn't even particularly think I was gonna get the job. So you can't even, you can't be nervous if you don't even think you're gonna get it. Out of 16, they picked six, and then the six of us girls, like the next week or two, we end up in the studio and we did some recording, and then like a week or two later, they just wanted to see whose voices blended best, and they picked four of us. They picked four out of the six of us, and I made the cut with three other girls. And so it was a whirlwind summer of photo shoots and recording, and then we were supposed to debut our I'm letting my face baking sit, by the way, for just a second before I dust it off, <laughs> just so you know. <laughs> and so they, and I'm gonna go ahead and put on some uh, bronzer in the meantime. Can't lie, matte bronzer. I got it in beauty subscription. It's just a very nice, pretty matte bronzer, which I love. And I'm gonna use my wet and wild brush, big fluffy wet and wild brush. We were kind of all set. We had sponsorships and we had photo shoot and we had, our single was all recorded and we were getting ready. We were in New York and we were getting ready to perform at the fall fashion show in Bryant Park. And we were gonna be in YM's Mega Denim segment performing our song. We had choreographed, it was choreographed by this guy. I think his name was, it might've been, it, uh, and it was choreographed by this guy named, I think Jermaine? Something like that. And he was actually in one of JLo's videos. He had choreographed Britney Spears's You Drive Me Crazy video and all that, you know, fun stuff back in that, back in the day, back in the TL, TRL days, you know? And so he, we'd spent the day rehearsing with him. And again, that was my first introduction to choreography was, was with him. And we're all set to go. And the only problem was that morning was 9-11. And so there we were in Midtown Manhattan with dreams about ready to come true and you know, just a bunch of teenage girls. I was, I was the youngest, I was 16. The other girls were like 19 and early 20s. I was the baby. But so, you know, needless to say, it didn't happen that day. And there was just, it was devastating and on all levels, you know, just in every way you can imagine for a bunch of young girls, <laughs> you know, in, in New York and all this chaos going on and it never did happen. It was scrapped and we all moved on. And so I didn't have to become famous at 16 and maybe have a very, very unhappy life. So that's how I look at it. So it all worked out for the best, but it was definitely an interesting time. Very short, interesting time. <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna brush off this banana powder and I'm just gonna use this brush that's completely clean. I'm gonna use this for my blush. It's another wet and wild brush, kind of an angled. And I'm gonna just brush the powder off and then add blush. So the blush I'm using, I've had this forever. It's Clinique Blushing Blush Powder in Iced Lotus. And it's kind of like a, I don't know, kind of like a light pinkish purple color. Now I'm gonna put on eyelashes and I'm gonna do this off camera. Be right back. Okay, so my eyelashes are on and they are the Ardell Demi Wispies. And so now I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of smoke out under my eye just a little bit now that I have my concealer and everything on. I'm gonna use this brush that I used for the light color and I'm just gonna go ahead and just 
dampen it just a bit. I'm gonna go into end game, that really dark chocolate brown, and very carefully just get a little bit of the color on that brush. And I'm gonna try to get rid of any dust that I can because I don't, really don't wanna mess up my foundation. <laughs> and just kind of go underneath very lightly and just add like a smoky line. This is something I really just kind of taken to doing this year. And just smoke it out a little bit in the corner. So some celebrities I have met and or have taken my picture with are, of course, Dolly Parton. And there's a picture of me and a group of people having our picture made with Dolly. And I'm really close to her. I'm just a couple people in. And that was back in 2006. Look at that tan. And I have also met Hanson. I met them back in 2007. And here's a picture of that. I was so excited. I, I couldn't breathe. I was just, oh my God. <laughs> and really, I was put in a room where I was gonna meet them and I wasn't in the fan club, so I was separated. Yeah, it was crazy, oh my God. But I've seen them in concert twice, that was my second time, and I got to meet them, and it was really exciting. And, and I've met, I, I, my dad made me, I went to a Winona Judd concert, and my dad made me bring her a CD and a photo up to the stage, and I was so embarrassed. We had like second row, and he said, go take that up to her, and I didn't want to. And I handed it to her, and she was like, is this you? And I was like, yeah, I said, I'm singing one of your songs on there, and, she was like, you go girl. <laughs> I was so embarrassed. I hated that my dad made me do that. Oh my God. But it's a good story. So I've seen her three times. What a voice. And so, okay, so we got that line kind of smoked out and I think I'm gonna go ahead and do one step further and I'm gonna also dip the brush in Bucked, which is kind of the third one in there. Do the same thing and it'll just kind of help blur it out just a little bit more and make it look extra special. It doesn't take much. Last couple steps <laughs> is that I wanna add a little bit of highlighter because I just think this look kind of lends itself to it. And I actually have this DLS bronzer. I think the brand is Dirty Little Secret. This is Skinny Dip and it says it's a bronzer. However, it is so shiny that I could never justify using it as a bronzer. Look at how, how much shimmer is in that. Definitely much better as a highlighter, I feel. So I'm gonna just take this little brush that I use for my highlighter. The last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add, go ahead and add my lip liner and lipstick and we're gonna be done and if there's anything more that you wanna know, just drop me a comment below and ask me you know, ask me questions, of course, keep them appropriate. And I will do another video like this again, answering your questions. So I'm honored that you guys are even watching this at all, let alone really caring anything about me. So if you've watched and hung in with me till now, thank you so much. And yeah, I mean, I just appreciate it so much that you don't even, even understand. So <laughs> you've hung with me long enough. Got this lip liner called Jante Blue. The lip liner pencil, natural beige. I got it, I'm sure, in a glam bag or a subscription of some sort. And I'm gonna go ahead, and I haven't even used it yet. It's completely brand new. And I'm gonna line my lips. I don't know how much this is gonna show up. But there is something so satisfying about lining your lips. I, I kind of feel, it kind of helps, I think, the lipstick just look a little bit more precise. So, and then I'm gonna do this Nude Sticks Gel Color Lip and Cheek Balm. And this is in the color J Mama. It's kind of a, kind of a very natural, kind of a nude color. And that is really, oh, I guess it's something that eventually I'll have to sharpen it. That's okay. And I'm gonna just apply this. Just a kind of a natural lip. So there we go, we just did a look using the Naked Reloaded palette and some other things, things of which I'm familiar with, some things that I've never used before. Just got this very natural look, and not, not kind of a natural smoky kind of a look and something that you could wear for day or night, any time of the year. And 
you got to know me just a little bit. Thank you so much for watching and sticking with me and just supporting me through this journey and taking the time to get to know me. And I love you all for watching and thank you so much. And again, subscribe and like this video, share this video with anyone you think might like it and follow me on social media and I will see you all next time. Bye.